Hi. Hi, everyone. So, um, uh, please let me know if you hear me. I'm not sure. Oh, thank you. So I will wait a couple, I don't know, a minute maybe. So people will connect. Do you hear me well? Hi. Okay. So, uh, I've been asked many times, as I promised, that I will um, make a video how I paint my candles. So, I decided to do it live, as uh, mostly I paint uh, people. So, I have a lot of questions regarding uh, how do I paint people in my paintings. So basically it's the same, even on, I don't know, on painting or on a candle is the same thing. So this, this is how my candles looks like. All of them are handmade and hand painted. I'm not sure if you see it well. Uh, okay, so I paint them with acrylic. Okay, let me show the second one. Here it is. So here is the candle, how it looks like. And here is the side where it's painted. Okay, so it's a pyramid shape. And here is another one. So basically I will paint something similar like this. So I have a pyramid shape also. Um, and I have this shape too. So which one would you prefer me to paint? The pyramid shape or the bigger one, the larger one? So here are both of them. Do you have any preference? I don't know. I would prefer uh, the um, would prefer the bigger one. So I can show you uh more details about so let me start if you have any questions just let me know so here i have my um acrylic paints so basically everything the most important it's white so i'll put it just in front of me here is the palette where i blend my colors and let me start so I think I will paint a um, couple walking like you've seen uh, in many of my um, paintings. I just want to double check if you hear me. Somebody just send me, I don't know, um, comment or... Do you hear me, guys? Okay, thank you. So, let me start. Okay. So, 
So I would like the girl to be. Um, I would like the girl to be dressed in something with white and red, and the guy may be black or something. So let me see how this goes. Okay, I'll put some paint in here and I will just start with her first. So I will do the shape in the beginning and then make it uh, I don't know to adjust the um, the size if needed or the proportion or okay so let make them So uh, what I like uh, of acrylics is that you always can uh, adjust or to review the size or the colors or so let me do it like this. It's a little bit uncomfortable to paint like that. I usually put it very close to me. So I will just try to show you uh, both of the process. So uh, when it's still wet, I can, um, if something is not going well, I can just take it off with my finger and that's easier to correct. Okay. So let me add the um, lighter part too. Okay. So here is the guy's hand. Uh, when you paint with acrylic, uh, don't have to use too much water. Uh, I mean on candles because uh, on paper it's something different. But using a lot of um, of uh, water, I'm sorry, on the candle won't, won't let you um, to apply correctly. Okay, so I will add some red on his clothes also. I would like to paint her hair. At the end, I will review the shape, but to have an idea, I have to Do it and the legs. Okay, I still have some black on. Okay, so you don't have to. Uh, to pay too much attention on the uh, on um, details uh, on the first layer as you can easily adjust it so I would like to make a little bit to see his face too so 
so that will be fine. I will adjust it at the end and let me her okay. So that will be the um, the lar the lighter part. Okay. Okay. So I want to make something like a tree or something in here. Something just just a little bit of an idea. Like they are walking under a tree or something. Okay. I like a long handle um, brushes. So let me define the tree in the end. Okay. So as you can see, I added too much water in here. I will let it a little bit, a little bit to dry. In the end, I will come back. That's not a problem. Um, okay. So let me make a reflection. and the dress okay if you decide to pay uh, to paint with acrylics you have to clean your um, so i don't know where this white came up but i guess i just okay um you have to clean it very well as acrylics dries so fast and you won't be able to use it again So we can also use some blue. Blue of these colors will um, will go very well. Okay. Did I miss any of your questions? So you can use uh, easily your finger painting with. Uh, with acrylics okay so I guess you don't see it very well when I work on tree I've been asking yesterday during uh, the premiere of the last video, uh, do you like me painting acrylic or watercolor is better?
Okay, so I will uh, paint now the um, ground level. So I'll make, I will just do some details like that to define the ground. So maybe any color you like, but um, I like the contrast between uh, browns, any kind of browns in blue, especially with Sarah Leon blue. So I will just do some more, some small touches. And at the end, I will just add some warm. Okay. So let me come back to today's tree. So it's like they are going f under arcades or something like that. Oh, you don't see again. I'm sorry. So th uh, this candle is actually heavy. It's almost one kilo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. So I will come back to his head and I would like to make a white shirt for him and let me do like this. Okay. And let's make her hair to look beautiful and arranged okay one second okay so we can add a little bit of um colors on his so he's he's a little bit too short so i will just do it a little bit okay just like that Okay, when it's still wet, I can easily come back and correct what they need to. So I can, I would like to make like um let's say um twilight feeling so i will just blend a little bit of colors i will take off the pigment and let me do like that okay so let me and a little bit of white, okay. And again, just just like a touch. Okay. Okay, and if it's too much, I can easily do like this. So let's clean it up.
let me do with the small one too. Okay, clean it up. So it's like a blend. Okay, so I will do with a little bit of white. Okay, in the end I will add like leaves. So this will be our uh, autumn scene. But till the end I would still want to add some um, light on her dress. Okay, just like that. And a little bit of dark color in here. Okay, so let me add some golden leaves. Let me blend some white and reds in yellow. Okay. Okay, so I, I will do the darker one first, in the end the lighter ones. So I will still do on ground level too. Like small spots of paint. Okay, so let me do the lighter ones now. Okay, if it's too much, I can easily do like that. Okay. and some yellow, golden yellow ones too. Okay, here, here maybe. And I'll do her legs too, I like this color. Okay. Do you have any questions, maybe? I would like to hear your opinion about. Okay. 
Okay, so let me. So here is her skirt, dress maybe not skirt. Okay, so I want the colors to blend on the reflection. So here, no, too much. I will add some light in here. Okay, so I, I want some light this part of okay, just like that. So uh, it's not necessarily to put too much pigment. As this is not like a painting, like a usual painting, so we don't need it to have it too much. Okay, let me do like an effect on that. Would you prefer me to make these live sessions earlier or maybe later? I don't know. I'm just asking. Maybe you have some preference. Okay, so I will just add some more leaves flying. Okay, just like that. And here must be her shoe, so I want. So when, when like here, when uh, the pigment is dry already, the first layer, you can add the lighter uh, touches and this will offer an interesting texture. And I will do some in here too. It's important for you to see the uh, the palette or what uh, or not really, so I know how to adjust the camera next time.
Okay, so I will do some crows. You know, my favorite part of the painting. Okay, so let me just do it a little bit bigger. So painting with acrylic, it's a little bit more decorative than with watercolor. So I can use unblended colors, but um, I still paint mostly like 99% with watercolor. So uh, I don't really like to use it like pure pigment. Okay, so I'll be like that. Some shadow. And one leg here, a bigger one. Okay, so let's make this one like a couple. These two. Bigger and closer to us and they will look like a couple too. <laughs> okay, so let me do one in here. So you don't have to be too clear or too detailed. Uh, can be like just an idea of birds or Okay, let me add Okay, a little bit too much, so clean it up light in here and here And her hair, beautifully painted. So I will add some light in here too. So at this point, I have to be very precise. So I won't um, add too much, just a little bit, like a finish thing. How you like it till now uh, okay so I have two source of light so that's why I may have um, some sparkles I don't know but I think this is a good point
Okay. So let me still add some branches. Let me do it. Like small, thin, really thin branches. I said thin, <laughs> so these are not really thin. Let me do like this. Okay. So you have to use at this point uh, the colors you already have on the palette. Not necessarily to add something uh, new as a already, I don't know, it's already finished, so not too many colors needed. Okay. So these small spots or well over texture, so I like them to be really light or lighter uh, comparing with other colors that I do have in here already. So I've been posting uh, painting with winter games on my um, Instagram uh, and I asked um, are you ready for a winter um, but I think I'm not ready for a winter uh, either um, as we have a wonderful uh, autumn outside a lot of uh, leaves flying so colorful so I think I'm still, uh, I still love the, um, I'm not ready for, uh, for, uh, for winter. I, I love fall so much, so colorful. Okay, so let me do like this. So I won't do too much for now. Okay, here is too much. Um, I want to keep it like this, maybe something in here, in here too. Do you have any questions maybe? I couldn't uh, pay attention too much on chat, I'm sorry. Maybe I missed something. Ah, okay, so here it is. Here is the finished. I have to take off this paint, but I'll do it later. Um, let me know in comments where I still can stay a couple more minutes online. If you like me to paint something like this often, or you prefer my watercolors, um, what's your opinion about? So uh, as you can see, this is uh, this doesn't take so much as a uh, painting as is small. Uh, next time I can do like something like this, so it'll be even shorter. I don't know, maybe thirty minutes maximum. So here it is. So it's double wicked you can burn it, I don't know, 
simultaneously were uh, one by one. And he has a uh, lilac uh, smell. That's my favorite. So, as you don't have any questions, I think we are fine for now. I will try to do next week also a live with candles and the painting watercolors maybe as I received uh, many questions regarding the watercolors. Uh, so maybe I will do watercolor video too and the candle painting session also. So thank you. Thank you, Adrian. How do you like it? Do you like watercolor better or? Thank you. So, um, I forgot to add a flying uh, bird. Let me try to. Thank you. Okay, let me add some more pigment. It's already drying here. I don't know. I know, thank you. I will do watercolor too. Okay. So that's that's fine. I don't want to add too much details. It doesn't help at all. So uh, it's I'm happy with that. Thank you, Adrian. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. I see you next week, or better to say you'll see me. Uh, you'll see me painting, I don't see you. Um, my pleasure, always. Um, I hope we'll interact more. I know I haven't been posted for a while. Um, but uh, I promise to do it often, more often than uh, than I did it till now. Uh, so sorry if I made any mistakes. You know, English is not my native language, um, and uh, I may, I'm sure I did um, mistakes. Um, Okay, so thank you for now. Bye. See you next week. Okay, let me see. Okay, bye for now.